There's a moment that happens in the Torah when Ishmael, the son of Hagar, who is the handmaid of Sarah and Abraham, Ishmael is cast into the desert with his mother to go survive on their own. And Hagar doesn't want to see her child die. They don't have any water. They don't have any protection. And so the text says that Hagar says, Al Don't let me look at this child dying, she says to God. And she uses the word yeled. Yeled meaning a child. But when Hagar began to cry, the Torah tells us, Vaishma Elohim et kol hanaar. God heard the cry of the lad, of that youth. The yelet is gone. In that moment of stress and vulnerability, the child became a grown up. That kid is no longer. And Ishmael is more than a lad. He's more than an adolescent, more than a teen even. He becomes a grown-up, somebody who is forced to grow up. You might say that COVID has forced our kids to grow up, and there's so many other things that have made them grow up in a world that might not be as safe or healthy as we want it to be for our children. So we take the brokenness of the world and we regard it in this moment, but we also say there is something that we can do as protectors of our children to keep our children children longer. And that thing is available to five to 12 year olds, thank God finally, through vaccinations. In that incredible moment of feeling like he wanted to stay a kid Ishmael didn't have a choice. We have a choice to make sure that our children can grow up strong and healthy. And in this moment, friends, I hope that our kids will have that opportunity. We can empower them to stay healthy and to be healthy and to stay kids longer. So please take this moment to thank God with me that we have a way to alleviate the pain of our children and to God willing, keep them safe. Shabbat Shalom.